Hey there everyone, this is Danielle performing another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. Last time we did first moon skip in the Cascade Kingdom and saw what happened. This time we're going to try to get through Tostarina without touching sand. Um, as you can see we actually spawn on the sand so I'm going to jump up on the Odyssey now and declare that didn't count because it forces you to start there. Uh, basically we want to get 16 moons without ever stepping on the sand again after that. Uh, since I'm not that great at this, if I fall, I'm probably just going to jump back onto the platform I started from, rather than, like, reset the whole thing or reload a save. Uh, but, you know, I, th I think we should be okay. First thing we're going to want to do, you can see that there's these uh, icicles over there. We're going to do a cappy roll jump onto this platform, or which I mean the top of the Odyssey. And I missed. So we're going to walk back to the Odyssey. <laughs> Thankfully, walking back to the Odyssey is fine because you land there, which is not, you know, sand. It's part of the Odyssey. So it's safe to do that whenever we want. Uh, a couple of the other warps actually do put you on sand, like the one in town. You can see it down there. So we can't use that one. Oops. So yeah, I'm just going to jump back onto the Odyssey rather than walk back just to save some time. And we're good. Okay, so... Now we're here, we need to go over to those icicles. Uh... I believe a long jump does the trick if we had to do it just right. Yep. Sure does. Oops. Okay, I fell down, so I'm gonna go back to this icicle and do it again. <laughs> okay, we're good. Uh, next you want to just jump to that icicle, which is easy, it's nice and close. Although we might slide off like that, because I said it was easy. Uh, this first little bit is honestly the hardest part, getting from the Odyssey to the town. Okay, there we go. Um, you can see that there's like a little dancing Tostarine in there. I think we want to make our way over towards that guy. Ah, oh, missed. But yeah, if we could land on that guy, we should be able to go from there, I believe. So, back here. This platform's a little too small to do a good Cappy roll jump, because when you throw Cappy out, she goes so far away from the platform. Oops. Otherwise, I'd be using a lot more Cappy roll jumps to get this distance, because they're obviously the best. <laughs> Okay, I jumped right over that guy. Uh, unfortunately, I believe if you bounce off an NPC, you don't get another cap bounce out of it. Like when you bounce off... Um, I, I think bouncing off things other than Cappy doesn't give you back your cap bounce, which is kind of weird. You'd think it would. Uh, maybe I can do a Cappy roll jump here. Maybe. I don't think I can, though. Part of the problem with these icicles is that they're not really meant to be walked on, so they have weird collision and you slip off a lot. You've got to be careful with that. Particularly this one. <laughs> I don't know why this one in particular is such a problem, but it is. Okay, there we go. Ah, dang. I was hoping I'd land on the car, but I didn't quite get enough distance. Just 
So I head back to this icicle and try again. <laughs> this is definitely the hardest part, just getting to the town. Once you've done that, it gets a lot easier. Uh, there's a few more icicles you have to cross to reach the ruins, but that's not too hard compared to this first little bit. Climb back up. Oh my god. <sighs> I just don't have enough air control to land in the exact, exactly the right spot for such a small hitbox. Oh my goodness. Past him. Heckies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure once I've done that, I can use a dive to get on top of the icicle next to him. And from there, I can just jump across to the town pretty easily. But this last jump is the tricky part. Because, yeah, if I actually touch the ground, I get back a I get back my cap bounce, uh, but that's cheating. So we have to land on the Tostarina and get off of him without landing on the ground. Uh, okay. Oops. Bad timing. Ah. Alright, <sighs> once I pull this off, the rest of it isn't that hard, it's just a little tricky thinking of places to go, basically. Mm. These icicles are definitely the trickiest part to work with. I get the most height from up here, so maybe... Oop, ground pounded instead of diving. Okay, so climb up here. There we go. You wanna do a long jump. Very happy. Bounce off of her. Bounce off her again. Yeah, there's just enough to make it past that guy, which we don't want to do. <laughs> when I actually land on him. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else closer than that guy. Uh. He made the bounce noise, but he didn't actually land on him. <sighs> Okie doke. I have done this like off camera before, and I know that this works. I'm just having trouble pulling it off again. <sighs> Close. Because, yeah, we need the full distance we can get from the, um, from the bounce-dive combo sort of thing. Uh, which is a problem, because then we have no more air control after we've done that. So we have to be real precise. Yes! Okay. So now we're over here, uh, we can do a simple long jump over to that umbrella. 
Very easy, as you can see. Uh, we can go into the shop. Because if you look in front of the shop, you can see there's like tiles and there's a mat here, so it's not sand. We're allowed to walk here. And we can buy a moon. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah! Okay, uh, we can't reach that one inside the shop. Uh, because to get that, you have to go to the back entrance, and there happens to be sand around it. Uh, I'll show you in a second when we get over there. Uh, so here, we just gotta get back on the umbrella, to get into the rooftops. There we go. The back entrance is down there. You can see that there's sand right in front. You have to be crawling to enter that hole. So, I don't think we can squeeze in there without touching the sand. Uh, we can get... You can see there's a seed sitting there, just out in the middle of the sand, but we can knock it across to the tiles like that and then make our way over and pick it up in order to plant it. There we go. Uh, we can go over here to get the moon that's just sort of hanging out up here. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah! Um, we can also get the one that's in this pipe here. Uh, this one's just a little rumble mini game, basically. When you walk on the ground, it, the controller rumbles differently to give you a hint about where to ground pound. You have to ground pound here. Yeah, it's not randomized, it's always that one spot, but it's kind of fun. Okay, so we're at three moons now. Uh, there's not much else we can do here. The rocket's frozen, so we can't use it yet. Uh, that plant won't be growing for a while, so we're going to go into this power line and use it to get to here. And then we're going to use some more icicles here in order to make our way over to the ruins. Uh, this part isn't as tricky. That you can see the icicles are quite close together compared to the other ones uh, that we were looking at before, so there's less difficulty involved in doing this bit. Uh, as before, if I fall on the sand, I will just go back to the platform I fell from rather than restarting, so keep that in mind, I guess. Oops. Ah, okay. These platforms, they're, they're kind of slippery-ish, it's weird. They don't, they, don't, they don't behave like real ice, it's not like when you're standing on an ice platform and you get weird traction and stuff. Thanks, Gappy. <laughs> um, let me see, I think... I think I can jump all the way over to the, to the ground there now. Yep. And that's us to the ruins without having to walk on the sand. That checkpoint we can use because it spawns you here on the tiles. So, that's safe. Uh, the next thing we can do, we can climb up this icicle over here. And we can use that, uh, plus a ground pound jump. Bounce up here and get this moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Cool Leo beans. Uh, dodge the little Goombas here, they won't do too much. Uh, this, is, this sand still counts as sand, so we're not allowed to touch that either. Uh, which makes sense because it's sand. Uh, we just dig our way through here though. Uh, this block over here, you can see it's like breakable because it's got a moon in it. Da -da -da -da. Yeah! That's five. Uh, you can see another moon just sort of hanging out over there, so we're gonna just long jump over there. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okie doke. Uh, I wonder. I'm guessing that doesn't work because. I'm just thinking maybe you could happy roll jump from here to that platform. I don't think it would work though, I think it's too far. Uh, there's another strat for skipping over there by using a bullet, uh, which I'll probably be using in a bit, but it's pretty tricky to pull off and I thought a happy roll jump might be easier, but if it were easier then people would do that instead in speedruns, so. Uh, here, that sand still counts, so don't touch it. Uh, fortunately there's no need to touch it. You just make your way around it like this. Uh, then we got another moon over here in that crate. Uh, which will get warped over there. You can use a bullet to fly over there if you want, or you can just jump. It's not even far. See? Yeah! Okay, uh, how are we doing? 
we can get another move by climbing to the top of the tower. We can go into the 2D section, no problem in this run, because we're not crouching, so I will be going in there. Uh, you can take those moving platforms if you want, or you can just go up here. Do it that way. It's probably faster. So yeah, this 2D section, there's no sand here, obviously, so nothing to worry about. And there is another moon hidden in here, so we will be getting that one. Moving platform, I need you. Uh, the hidden moon is just over here. You just step on the platform, walk this way. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah! And the first story moon of the kingdom is up here. Ba -da 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 now, the next story moon gives us a bit of a problem, because when it shows us where it is, which it will in a second... It's over there. You can see a lot of those moon shards are indeed in the sand. I don't think we can get them without touching the sand in some way. Uh, we could ride this platform over there. The platform actually stops on the ground, so we can stand on it for a few seconds. But then it disappears, and we need to have jumped away before that happens. Uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of stuff over there to stand on. Uh, so we have a bit of a problem, basically. Uh, so we won't be going that way. Uh, we're going to head over here. You can see that in front of the Sphinx, there's actually this, like, a little tile there. So we can stand on that instead of on sand, in order to talk to the Sphinx. Like this. And we can do the riddle here, without any trouble. Uh, we can also go over there and do the other riddle, because there's another little tiled platform we can stand on. Uh, 30. You have to keep talking to the Sphinx a little bit longer. Uh, ice. Uh, 5. I really wish Quiz Kitty with the answer, that would be cute. Da -da -da. Yeah! So there is another moon inside that door that the, um, that the Sphinx unveiled, so if we can get over there, that'd be great. Uh, let's see. I believe the easiest way to get there is to slide down the wall. Uh, ah! Okay, I touched the ground, so I'm going to walk back to... I'm going to walk to the top of the tower and do it from there. Uh, again, yeah, if I touch the ground, I'm just going to walk somewhere that I'm allowed to be and just not use the fact that I'm on the ground. Just to keep things simple. So yeah, uh, if you just jump down here. Uh, you grab these purple coins if you want. And you can also slide down this wall, which is what I was trying to do. And just dive in there without having to actually touch the ground. Got another moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, so let's grab all of these. There we go. We can't walk out the door because there's sand outside, so instead we're gonna walk over here. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, the next thing I'm going to want to do, uh, I want to try to get up to the Jaxi Ruins, which are up there. Uh, the way that speedrunners do this is you get a bullet, which you basically fly at the wall, and then you jump out. You do that. I did it first try. Oh my god. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, that took me like 15 tries off camera, but here I got it first try, so that's awesome. Uh, you can get some more coins here. You can get this checkpoint. You can also talk to the Jaxi here and pay 30 coins in order to be able to ride the Jaxi, which we're going to do. 
Uh, it's debatable whether the Jaxi is allowed to touch the sand. I'm going to try to avoid that, but I'm not going to worry too much if it does happen. Like that, for example. Uh, it's going to stay on the poison. Stay on the poison. There we go. So this whole area doesn't have any sand, so nothing to worry about down here. Uh, we've just got to ride this Jaxi here. We can get two more moons here. Uh, we're still too short. We can go back and get the plant from town, and then one more somewhere. Not quite sure where. <laughs> the hitbox in these notes is pretty big, so it's not too hard to get them all. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, so we just make our way over to the center to get that moon. This is all tile, so it doesn't matter if we touch it. Yeah! See the Capricorn jump there, like in the previous video. <laughs> you want to go in here because there's some purple coins up here to be had. You can go the other way, but it's harder and doesn't have any purple coins, so I don't know why you would. Then you want to go through all these cacti to get the other moon. Yeah! That pipe will put us out on some sand, so I'm going to warp again. Uh, to avoid that happening. I'm not sure where we can go next, though. Let me think. We can get one more moon from where I said. Um, I'm going to see if we can actually get a moon over here. Uh, you can see there's a hole there in the middle of the sand. Uh, that goes down to a sub-area with the moon in it, which is the intended way to get to the Jaxi Ruins, actually, uh, by going through that sub-area. But I think if we go in there, there will be sand at the bottom of the hole. So I'm going to drop down and have a look. Okay, touch the sand anyway, so... Let's go back over here and try again. I'm having trouble aiming this properly. <laughs> Maybe a long jump? There we go, that was perfect. I believe that lands its own piece of sand. Yeah, it does. You can see the sand there. It's like white sand, but that is that is still actually sand, so we cannot go this way. Uh, so we need to find a moon somewhere else. Um, let me think. There is another moon in the ruins, but I don't know if we can access it. Wow, that's a really easy shortcut, actually. Let's jump over there. Uh, the last moon in the ruins is actually uh, behind this icicle. There's a. Uh... Okay, I'll just make my way over there. Carefully. Watch out for the little bits of sand here on the edges. That is still sand. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, underneath this ledge here, there is actually a moon hanging out down there. If we. Get into the right angle, we won't be able to see it. You can see there's like a, a doorway there and a moon, but you have to walk on sand to get down there. It might be possible to do it with a dive, but we would land on sand afterwards, so I think that probably still isn't allowed. Huh, no coins up here. Weird. Okay, let me think. Where can we go? I don't believe you can reach that platform from all the way down here, so that probably isn't an option. The other two seeds are actually, like, way away from anywhere we can avoid touching sand to get them. Like, we can't get the other two seeds. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, we can't do the next story moon. Which locks off the other story moons, which also requires us to go on the sand anyway. So, it doesn't really matter too much that they're locked off. That is sand, what am I doing? <laughs> Think. Where can we? There's the bird. Maybe we get the bird. Maybe. Where's the bird going? The thing about the bird is it moves around a long way, and it's annoying to catch it. I believe doing a checkpoint will actually resets its position, and I don't know where it resets it to. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
da, 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 ready to go. It's gone. I don't know where the bird went. <laughs> if we can get the bird, that would be another moon. I believe you can get it while you're in town, so that might work. This is going to be annoying because the bird keeps moving all the time. Yeah, I think I'll head back towards town. I'll see if the plant is finished growing. Oh, we can't warp to town because if we warp to town, we will be standing on sand. So we have to make our way back over the icicles. Thankfully, only the second set of icicles, not the annoying first set. Get up there, Mario. Uh. The camera's sort of getting stuck on that platform over there. Just getting a bit. There we are, out of the way. There we go. Okay, so from here, uh, pretty much you want to do a cappy roll jump off the top here in order to get back onto the icicles. A little bit further forward. Oh, I'm slipping. Ah, oh, okay, back over here. <laughs> there goes the bird. Oops. Oh no! <laughs> I fell on the sand. Oh dear. Okay, maybe I'll just watch where the bird goes for a bit. The oasis doesn't have sand, so... I mean, it does, it does have some sand, but we can also stand on the grass over there. So if we could get over there, that would help. But I can't see any possible way of getting all the way over there. Bicycle is the worst. Where's the bird? Maybe we can, maybe we can catch it. Let's see. You can see that it's not too hard to make your way up here. Um, so if you wanted to go all the way around, you could, but you don't have to. Where is the bird? Where did it go? I don't know what the bird's route is in this kingdom, which doesn't really help. And if I knew exactly where the bird was gonna go, we could you know, predict it. But I don't. I don't. So I can't do that. Uh -oh. We might be flying low or something. Or high. Flying above. Oh, there it is. It's way over there. There's no way I can get over there without touching sand. Okay, I think it's going to go back towards the first bit. Alright. I just think, maybe, maybe there's some more so I can get a moon? No, I think the bird is, the, is our best bet. Okay, it's really annoying. The long jump didn't long jump. That's sand. Oh, 
A different way. If I come over here. Can I long jump that far? Maybe. But it seems like it's better just to get up here and have a bit more distance to work with. There we go. There we go, finally. Okay, the bird's all the way over there now, so we missed it, but I get it next time. There we go. There we go. Uh, this part's pretty easy. You can just jump and grab that pole in order to climb back up. The plant hasn't grown yet, but it's close. Uh, and the bird should be flying around. I think the talker 2 is where the other bird goes. So if we go over here, and maybe get on this cactus, we can maybe wait for it. It's way, way over there though, so it's gonna be a while. Uh, and the plant's still growing, so. I guess we just gotta wait a bit for the last two moons, which is a bit annoying. Um, if we warp anywhere, we're gonna have a lot of trouble getting back here. Uh, so, it's probably best just to stay where we are for the moment. You can get some coins out of that if you want. Uh, we can't go into the costume room, which is over there, because... Let's have a look from above. You get an idea. You can see that there's definitely sand around that door, and you have to talk to the person there to open it, so we can't hope to talk to them and unlock the door without standing somewhere on sand there. Uh, that moon is ready to collect. Where's the bird? Oh my god, where's the bird? It's, for, it's probably behind the ruins or something. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, it's going over that way. Uh, I'll just grab this moon. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah! Okay, and then we've got one more to collect. Hopefully I don't mess it up, because it's going to take a really long time to get to it again if I mess it up. Okay, so... I can't go into first person while standing on this cactus, that's weird. Okay, yeah, you can see the bird is over there, near the, near the other set of ruins, like that building there. So, just wait around a little bit longer. Oh my god. <laughs> Game Mario does have a spin jump in this game. It's not nearly as overpowered as the one in Sunshine, though. Doesn't go very high, and you don't get much distance out of it either. Basically, the main advantage is that you move a bit slowly, which is sort of useful, I guess. Yeah! Okay. Gotta get that moon now, and we're good. Okay, it shouldn't be too hard. It's it's not like above sound or anything. Yeah. Okay, that's all 16. Um, so now we can leave. Uh, we can walk back to the Odyssey. I didn't realize we could at first, but you can, uh, because the Odyssey is perfectly safe to stand on because it's made of metal. 
and the warp always puts you right there in front of the door. So that's this kingdom done. Uh, I did touch the sand a bunch of times, but I went back after touching it, so... Whether that counts or not is up to you, but I think it counts. <laughs> Anyway, that's Sandless Tost Arena, and I'm not sure there's much else we can do without touching sand, honestly. Uh, we can't get to the stories and stuff, because the next one requires you to walk on the sand. The inverted pyramid, I have no idea how you get all the way over there without going through sand. Um, next up, we'll be going to the Lake Kingdom. Uh, we won't be doing it in this video, but that is where we're going next. So, you know, look forward to that. Uh, and thanks for watching this. Uh, Odyssey experiment video that we did. <laughs> uh, cool beans. I'm gonna stop the recording now, so bye!